The Summerland Project is a chance for local acting talent to get some screen time, but it's also a unique opportunity for the local economy. The film is partnering with investors and businesses to help make the movie. Fox 28 News reporter Kevin Barry explains what it means for the city and the people who live here. Scott and Tiffany, the filmmakers say one of the best things about making the Summerland Project is that it portrays Iowa in a different light than it's been shown before in the movies. As you saw, the movie isn't about corner baseball, it's providing, and it's providing business Businesses, chances that many of them haven't seen before either. We need to have film back in this community. These opportunities don't come up all the time. They don't. And with state filmmaking credits overcoming years of scandal, filmmakers haven't exactly been flocking to the Hawkeye State, partially because of the costs. But for the Summerland Project, a team of investors coupled with local business partnerships have helped them not only make do, yeah. but thrive. And that allows us the capability of making this movie, which doesn't have an Avenger budget, look like something that could. Producers say they have to feed 50 to 60 people all day for weeks, a major cost that High V is completely covering. Hey, how are you? Pat McGrath dealerships have donated cars that will both appear in the movie and help carry equipment and actors, expanding their brand. This is going to go all across the country and, uh, and in no small measure across, uh, across the world. But that's not even the main reason Gavin McGrath says he's involved. It was more just a community involvement decision. Just we want to get involved in this movie one way or the other. He says they aren't sure there's going to be a huge payoff directly from their partnership, but there's obvious reasons to make it easier for a filmmaker to showcase where McGrath does business. As the crews come here from around the country, uh, you know, those individuals are eating in our restaurants, they're staying in our hotels, they're spending dollars in our in our community. That helps in the short term, but Gavin says down the road, Cedar Rapids needs to attract younger people in order to thrive. And if making the city a known movie filming spot helps that, well, he's all for it. If all of a sudden this, this blows up, goes really well, and another guy out of Hollywood wants to shoot here, I guarantee that only helps us. Filmmakers say they don't want this to just be a one-time thing. They're on a mission to prove that filmmaking in Iowa can work and that investing in it can pay off. Kevin Barry, Fox 28 News.